Welcome back to DXB Today. Now we've been talking all about Ramadan and food, food, food. Who isn't hungry by now? Well, it makes sense that our next guest is an award-winning chef, cookbook author, and she has got some beautiful food that she's brought in. I always have it in my kitchen, in my freezer, ready to go. So uh, Zahra Abdullah, the founder of Zahra's Kitchen, so excited to have you with Thank us Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be here on the sofa with you all. Zahra, I'm curious, when you said earlier on um, that the pricing of your food, I thought it was really affordable, but you said, no, it's not exactly. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? So I would, uh, I w one thing I've learned over the years, especially when I wanted to launch this, part, uh, this product, I wanted something to be affordable. But what I realized is in order to make something affordable, you have to also make some decisions. And part of the decisions was focusing on quality ingredients. So everything that we use here is responsibly so sourced. It's whole, real ingredients. It's not parts of something, it's the full ingredient that we're using. And I think as a mother, it's really important because what I want to kind of focus on and make make very uh, like make, make very focused is that not a lot of the products that you can get have all of those values and for me this was a very important value I wanted parents to feel like they trusted the the journey um, it's and it's food that I make for my kids and it's not something unique I mean I was I was as we were talking about earlier these are styles of cooking that we learned from our grandparents they would prepare things in advance especially now that it's Ramadan everyone's been busy two to three weeks ahead of time packing the freezer with everything that they need. But the problem is we don't have as much time as, as, we, as our parents used to have. So this is about convenience. It's about getting the wholesome quality food conveniently. I am smelling it and it's making me nostalgic, Zahra. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to ask, obviously, because a lot of people who do fast Ramadan, they have a lot of memories attached to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love the fact that you make this food for your kids. We can try some of the love you have for them. Uh, tell us about some of your Ramadan recipes. Oh, Ramadan is like one of my favorite times of the year and it's really about creating memories and it's about creating recipes that I grew up with. So it's really all about tradition. Sambusek, for example, is one of my favorite things. Um, I grew up in Sudan, so I'm half Sudanese and I grew up in Sudan and it was a communal event. All the mothers would get together and they'd be rolling and they'd be folding and that's, it was like their form of therapy. So one of our products is beef Sambusek and it's really, a nostalgia of my childhood which I'm sharing to my family and friends and so when Ramadan comes I need my lentil soup and I need my sambusek on the side there is no iftar breaking with that that combo don't forget about the date oh the date is always a must start <laughs> so is this uh, a Ramadan uh, you know exclusive that you have uh, where you're gonna present something uh, for iftar or for suhoor, do you so advise? So this was initially created, inspired by traditions of Ramadan, mm. um, but we actually are available all year round in all of the retailers that we are in. And um, it's a great lunchbox. Um, I mean, I know you were mentioning that you pack it for your kids' lunchbox. It's great for last minute gatherings. Um, I love making grazing boards with like different sides of dips. And so when you have guests over, it's just a very easy to grab and eat. It's not intimidating. It's very welcoming and um, very It's great for feeding the studio staff, to be honest. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> looks good. speaking of easy to grab, how about we try a bite of something? Is that <laughs> yeah. okay? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please. I, I have, Peter so I have party. Zahra's, um, these little boxes that we're seeing right here. I have them frozen in my freezer. When people come over, I stick them in the oven. They're ready in a few minutes and it looks like I bake them. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't, I don't tell them that I've cooked it, but they assume it and I don't correct them. <laughs> I, I just want to know how good this is. <laughs> Go for it. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. How about dessert? Have you, do you have any of these in the At the moment, we're dessert? just focusing on the snacks and nibbles range. Um, we've got 12 products. Um, one of our most popular and best selling products is the uh, falafel bites. Oh. And I have to say, I was so hesitant about launching it and literally it was on a split second decision. I decided to go forward with producing it. I really wanted to cancel it. And I'm really glad I didn't because it's my number one selling product. Oh, wow. So the things that you think won't work actually work amazingly. So it's a journey. It's yeah, a you journey. You never know what's going to resonate with who, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but yeah. good job. Thank you. Now we have a thousand other questions actually planned, but because you brought out the food, now all we want to do is eat. I'm glad. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah.
That is, I know you still have a mouthful of food, but I I a, a very good, because I know you've got the XB and 60 to do. That's right, Nasif, we are going to put you against the clock. We're going to have 60 seconds, and we're going to ask you as many questions about yourself so we can get to know as much about you as possible in the shortest amount of time. Are you ready? No, go for it. Starting the clock in three, two, one. If you were not the founder of Arab Culturalist, what would you be doing? Uh, I'll be helping people better understand the culture of where they are. Fair enough. What is your first job? Uh, restaurateur. Oh, very nice. Uh, what is your motto in life and in work? Uh, do unto others like you want it done unto you. The golden rule. Uh, a superpower you wish you had? Uh, change the human beings. Has there been any book that you've been reading? Uh, Quran. Quran, it's the time for it. Uh, your top dish recommendation apart from Zahra's Kitchen? <laughs> uh, Machboos. Uh, how about your favorite Ramadan tradition? Uh, yes, please. Uh, if you could hang out with someone in the industry for 24 hours, who would it be? Uh, it would be Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. And of course, I have to ask our favorite question. Why Dubai? Dubai is the iconic city for the world to follow and to motto like. Amazing. Now, coming up, we've got Duo Violins closing the night and so many prizes to give away to all of you watching. So don't you go anywhere.